Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean, and I'm sure this is gonna be one of them uh, oh, like sound effect oh, reviews for Dan. Oh, we've never owned a bottle of this. This is a momentous Holy day. smokes, you're actually right. What? Being an adult. I'm a full-blown adult. I'm opening this. Let's open, Let's it, open together. it together. You okay. start it, and I'll finish it. What? Hold on, let me. Here you go. I think that's about half. Okay, you have to. Can you hold the base? Thank you. Ah! Uh, what? And this is why we don't have these bottles of whiskey. Thanks. Huge shout out to Nicholas Jones. Yeah. We literally. We'll never, we've never, only BTAC we've ever owned is George, George T. Stag. Stag. And we've had multiples. You wanna, you wanna open it together? You take half, I'll take half. Okay. We got ready, like set. Oh, oh, that? You seem um, like a mistake. No. That didn't feel like a mistake. Oh, um, so this is 2022 WLW. Um, this is usually, what, what is this pour? Hey buddy, at least make okay, even. Okay, okay. I said there. make them even, I'll make them even. <laughs> You spilled more than you've got in my glass the last three times you tried to pour it. It's just embarrassing now. Like, I feel like you're just messing with me and you're doing it on purpose. And I don't, you don't know how, Here, but- Can I tell you what's happening? The carpet is now worth more than some of the bottles we use. That sounds great. Can I tell you what's happening? I'm having fun not doing it on purpose. Okay. So. Um, yeah, this is our Great White Whale every year. Well, just realistically, owning a BTAC at this point is a great white whale. But there have been years that we've had Eagle Rare, we've had WLW, and we've had George Stag in the same year. Sure. So what I'm saying is in those years, WLW has always been like the number one for us. Eagle Rare 7, it is for you every yeah. time. We've never had a year where WLW wasn't, this is one of your favorite whiskeys ever. And I know you didn't hear me say that, but this is one of your favorite whiskeys ever. <laughs> that, like generally. This did win Fred Minnick's <laughs> top hundo. <laughs> number one. Spoiler alert. You know what? I was wrong. I think it's just gonna be a sound effect uh, review for me too. I'm gonna give, and I know everybody's gonna not believe me. I'm no, gonna give won't. real taste notes no, today. Won't. Yes, I'm gonna I will. Say that no, I'm gonna won't. give the realest actual taste notes. You know how you smelled whatever it was, and you were bourbon. like, I can see Elon's future. Yeah. I smelled that, and you were talking all hard. Was <laughs> so generally. My favorite's Eagle Rare 17. Generally, your favorite's WLW. We've never owned anything except George T. Stag. We've owned like three of those. Two of one year and one in one, a different year. This, I've heard not a bad thing about any BTAC from 2022. I haven't heard a bad review on a single bottle. So. Um, 124.7 proof, and I'm just gonna apologize because it is, it's not gonna be a great review for me. It's gonna be a lot of sound effects, a little bit of moaning, um, some sexual innuendos. We can get more in there. Oh, I'm, I may cry in this video. I make blind people see. I might cry for real. Oh. <sighs> That's off a nose. A uh, nose rip on that is one of the most beautiful things I've ever smelled in my entire life. Dude, I'm just, oh my. Uh, can I tell you if the, if. This is a single Rick, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it is, you're right. <laughs> Can I tell you, um, can I tell you if we had this in a blind, let's say we did a top hundo. Yeah. And this was in the blind. I don't, I'm literally off the top of my head, there could be three other whiskeys in the blind that I would even say that's in the same wheelhouse. This smells like a chocolate caramel covered strawberry in the most sensual way ever. Like you got home from work, there's rose petals going to your bed. It's There's just a nice serving of champagne, some like nice Cristal or Dom sitting there in a nice chilled. It's ready to go. That's how this whiskey makes me feel, Daniel. There you go. Listen, I, I've been drank it. I don't even care to drink it. I could smell this for the rest of my life. This smells better than Koi Hill, and that's one of my favorite noses of any whiskey I've ever smelled. Nick, I love you so much. I can be bought with love. Like my love can be bought, and I found that out today. In this oh, video. I knew that. <sighs> I, I thought it was only that. with money. I don't want. I'm not gonna drink it. I'll see. You. Subscribe while you're here. So how's that real review going for you? I haven't given no. I know. Like, oh my gosh, this is for real. One of the craziest. Give me birthday bourbon. I want to see how bad it is. No one shocked by what's happening <laughs> here. I just wanted to be center of the frame when I said that for you. Oh, buddy, I don't want to like. 
completely ruin it would ruin it 100 yeah. percent. this um this uh <laughs> i'm such a loss for words my eyes tear i swear to god i teared up first time i smelled it it smells like there is literally nothing wrong with this no not on the nose i haven't tasted it yet it's um, fantastic. if you made and I'm, i don't want to oversimplify this if you made if you got Gordon Ramsay, who's no, he's not the best baker in the world. Who's the best baker? If you got Paul Hollywood from Great British Baking oh, Show, yeah. he's a very good baker. Yeah. If you get Paul Hollywood from Great British ba Breaking, Jesus, we don't, <laughs> we don't go with that one. Well, W L Jesus, same line. Um, if you get Paul Hollywood to make the most gourmet out of your freaking mind brownies. You could have said uh, Christina Tozzi. I don't know who that is. She was on MasterChef. Okay. She owns Milk Bar. Never heard of it. So. it's She's supposed to be one of the most inventive bakers to like be in the scene. We can go with her. Yeah. What's her name? Christina Tozzi. Okay, so if you got Tozzi, and if you did that, it's kind of like Hansy, but it's Tozzi. That's crazy. Okay. So if you got Tozzi to make the most gourmet brownies you've ever even thought of, but then what, somehow in the batter, they got a nice strawberry compote. And meth. And. Because it makes me just want to drink this This is why thing. our videos are what? just so demonic. Just YouTube hates us. Because they're like, they say cocaine a lot and meth. That was your first taste of just pure oh, happiness. That's one of the, mm, that's one of the best finishes I've ever had. So Eagle Raider. I swear to God. 17 doesn't drink that good, man. I don't know. It's like I'd like to compare them to actually next to each other. Yeah, but okay. We'll just find us an Eagle Rare 17 and we'll just do it. Klein's got one. Okay, for real though, this Rath is it's insanely, like, like it's still got a bunch of red fruit. It's got all the caramel. It's got every red chocolate fruit. Chocolate in the finish. Every great red fruit. Sugar covered strawberries that are perfectly ripened. The best raspberry you've ever had in your life is in this glass. So that um, the tobacco note that I get on some of the ultra aged stuff is hidden so well in here. Like it's that spicy woody tobacco and it's hidden right behind all the red fruit. So it doesn't like smack you with how well aged it is. And then you drink it and that barrel spice just accompanies the proof and the like the, the spiciness of the whiskey. Everything just culminates into literally one of the best drinks I've had in a long time. If I go to heaven, that'll be there. Yeah. Bad what in the world? Like that that that's one of the craziest Man, dude, in George, often the George, the 2018 George C. Stag measures up. Like they, they, I'm not saying that one's better than the other. I'm saying, from a quality standpoint, B Tac's incredible. And I know you guys know that, and that's why it's so sought after. Yeah. But how red fruit this is, with also an underlying sweet caramelized oak flavor, which is not real, but if you know mm -hmm. exactly what I'm saying. Um, you just make stuff up. Here's this has this is the first B Tac I've ever had that has the experience that I want. Meaning the mid palette starts to fade and the finish actually ramps back up mm -hmm. and then goes up in levels. Most whiskeys it's, like it's that you hit like a finish uh, and it tailors off. Yeah. This goes, it's like Promise of Hope yep. where it waves back in. Not many whiskeys on planet earth have ever done that. I think it's a lot of that, like the wood spice and stuff like that, that I'm talking about. What did we just review that I didn't like the- Old Forge or Birthday Mermaid? Yeah, that had, it felt like some really old age stock whiskey in it that was off balancing the the sweetness level of it. Yeah. And then when I drank it, I was like, that's really spicy and peppery. And like, I get a lot of the wood tannins or whatever. Whereas this is like layered in there perfectly. This is Godiva, it's, if this is a Godiva cut chocolate covered chair or- um, Godiva? Yeah. Godiva. Godiva. No, it's Godiva. Godiva, no. Like Lady Godiva. Um, It's a person's name. It, this is a Godiva chocolate covered strawberry, dude. I, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. You know what I think? There's like something about it that rings true to like some dusty aspect about mm -hmm. it. That there's just a little weird, it, it comes with a fattiness and it feels aged too damn well. To it's somehow real. like if you, if butter and fruit mix together really yeah. well, like. Like when you do the fat washed butter or fat washed whiskey or whatever, mm. that's what they have to do. But but better than that, yeah. I did, it's better than things I, that I can explain to you. Is how, I don't, sorry that it's good. I don't, Nick, thank you so whiskey much. Whiskey of the year, S plus Q49. What'd you pay in a bar for a, a pour? That's what we do with 50 these. 50 bucks. 
Yeah, I'd go 75. Easy. One it, time. Easy. I'm saying one mm. ounce, 50 bucks, easy. Okay. Yeah, you're probably going to get an ounce pour. Because it's not going to be an ounce and a half or two ounce pour. Mm -hmm. um, if I could get a two ounce pour for 75, man, If you can try good. this one time at a bar and it's under $100, I would I think almost say just try it one time. If you can swing it. that. Um, if you find it in a bar for 50 or under, and I'd even, if I've had it I, and I was out on like a special occasion, I'd do it again. I, that's incredible whiskey. It's phenomenal. This, yeah, obviously, this will be in the top five end of the year, no matter what, I'm 100% sure. Number one. I'm, I'm really interested to try that Koi Hill. Let me just. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, while you're here, um, make sure you, when you consume alcohol, you do that responsibly. And then also, if you wanna um, subscribe and help the channel out, that'd be super cool. It'd be great. We love you guys. Thank you, Nick. My God. Um, is that the best donated bottle we have? It's that or the Koi Hill from Matt. Yeah. It has to be. Like, I don't, the Koi Hill's the only thing I can think of that would even come close compare. to it. Yeah. And in, in terms of being how special they are. Yeah. Yeah. That is, why is there jizz all over your jacket? Hmm? What, what is that? Onlydams.com slash savant. That's the page. Um, <clears throat> apparently, if you Google that, you get like virus warnings all over the place. What is that salt? Now, um, it's salty. Um, <sighs> Yeah. yeah, that is. I don't have anything to say about that. It's fa it's phenomenal. Maybe one of the best bottles we own. Yeah, I would compare that to Mictor's Twenty. Yeah, mm -hmm. in terms of how special it mm -hmm. is, God. how good it is. That's that hurts. How good that is. William Larue Weller. I don't even think we ever said that. I don't think we ever said William Larue Weller. Just W L W. We didn't even say the name of the.